Welcome Park Facebook group for the tip of the week. This week we have Josh Ackman back with us again and we're going to go through TeamViewer on your machine and TeamViewer Pilot, a new tool that our tech support people use with you to try to expedite that experience of having called tech support and get through there all the way back to a working machine. Josh, what would be the first thing you would look at when we look at, let's start with uh, TeamViewer on the machine. With TeamViewer on the machine, we can look at a lot of different stuff in our application. As far as inputs, outputs, stuff like that, a lot of times you're able to see, or we're able to see you duplicate if there's an issue, something's programmed, not in the correct spot, we'll see alarms pop up then. Makes it a lot easier for us to diagnose rather than you trying to explain what's happening and stuff. We can see a lot easier what's going on with the machine then. Before you jump in and kind of give an overview of how to get TeamViewer loaded, ready, what machines typically would you be team using TeamViewer to access the machine? We use TeamViewer on pretty much every CNC, um, unless you're getting back to the CNCs in the 90s. But uh, every CNC we use today, and then some of the fastbacks um, that have the PCs in them, we can TeamViewer in. And um, we've helped people that way also. So if you have a Titan, a Destiny, a Saberjet, a Voyager, Saber, um, kind of all of them type of machines, TeamViewer is probably a tool you need to have ready and, and be ready to use on the for when the time comes that you need some tech support from Josh or his coworkers. We've gotten so used to TeamViewer, we almost log on unless it's just a really, really simple question we can answer in a couple seconds, but we almost log on every time. Every time we do log on, we're looking at parameters, stuff like that, making sure stuff isn't alarming us um, on a, something you might need to address. We also use it for just transferring pictures up on it, um, making sure that whoever we're talking to and us are on the same page as far as ordering air filters, stuff like that we've done before. Well, why don't you uh, take us through, I believe you're connected up with a machine in our training center to just kind of walk through how to identify what team viewer to use and where to go find the latest version if you need it. I'm gonna share the screen from our training center machine here. Um, so this team viewer that, if you're having issues um, downloading team viewer, some of the team viewer uh, applications there have been expired. And what you'll see when you open up your team viewer here You'll just see, it'll give you an alarm saying you do not have internet access. Um, so if you get that and you can open up your internet browser, whether it's um, IE or Google, whatever you use, that will, uh, that's a good indicator that you have just an expired version of TeamViewer. So what you'll want to do is just update that. Um, one thing you might want to check to see which version of TeamViewer you have to go have to download there. If you just right click on your computer there and uh, go to properties and you can see we're running Windows 7 on this machine here. So what you can do there, you can download the latest and greatest with Windows 7. If you do have Windows uh, Windows um, Explorer or, or Windows NT, then you'll have to download a different version. We'll start here with uh, the most current version. So if you have Windows 7, Windows XP, Service Pack 3, or anything above that, um, you go to parkindustries.com, just go to our main page here, scroll about three quarters of the way down, and right where you see Contact Us, it will have Download Team Viewer. Just click on that and run through and download that Team Viewer image there. If you do have other in older CNC, um, as far as like Windows NT on a some of the older destinies and stuff, if you go to our training and service guides, just search Team Viewer, um, submit that, and this is what you'll see pop up. So you can see here's for Windows NT. Um, otherwise, right here, download Team Viewer is our latest and greatest version there. Any questions on that, Joe, for you? No, no. So you pretty much walked us through how to get TeamViewer downloaded if you have an expired version or, or your version's missing, whatnot. Um, if you were a customer, you know, and most people when they're having having machine troubles, they want to they want to as fast as possible get them trouble troubleshooting, get it fixed, and get on to you know polishing stone, cutting stone, whatever. 
how would what would you do if you were call, you knew you were calling in? Where would where would you have team viewer running? What screen would you be at? Absolutely. Um, usually, for most circumstances here, I would have your Park Industries program open, along with Team Viewer up, ready to give us the ID and password. And uh, so, if you open up your Team Viewer, I already have it open. So I'll just click on the taskbar and right here is your ID. We'll need the ID first and then it'll connect to it and then we'll ask you for the password. Perfect. So basically if you were calling in, if you were in a customer's shoes and you wanted to get through that process as fast as possible, this is where you would have the have your machine pretty much ready. And as soon as they got on the phone with you, you might exchange serial numbers and then move into team viewer ID, password. And now you guys are sharing screens and and you can communicate real effectively. You can look at things on the control system or share pictures, like you said. Um, we also mentioned Team Viewer Pilot. You want to tell everybody what Team Viewer Pilot is, how they would find it, and and how that can be a benefit to them. Yeah. So Team Viewer Pilot is an app you can download on your smartphone. Um, it does work with Android and Apple. Um, so what it'll look like. This is just a screenshot from an Apple phone. But uh, make sure it'll see the Team Viewer Pilot. You can download that. What that app will do is it allows us, with your permission, um, to see through your camera. It's the same concept as the Team Viewer up on the machine, I guess. Um, but what it'll do is it'll give you an ID number. We'll enter that ID number and then try to connect to your phone. And you will have to hit accept um, to connect to your phone there. The Team Viewer Pilot, it will only let us see through your camera. If you do download any other Team Viewer versions, we can see your screen background, stuff like that. So the Team Viewer Pilot's nice because we keep the personal stuff personal and we're just dealing with the business stuff then there. The uh, one thing that's really nice is when you can walk around the machine and I can put, it's augmented reality. So I can drop arrows on your screen showing you exactly what I'm trying to point to um, and what I'm referencing in your image there. That sounds really neat. It turns a cell phone into essentially a webcam, but a webcam with some additional functionality where the, where the customer can sit there and they'll watch the display and see you pointing at different things. And it, it should streamline some of that if you're working around mechanically on the machine trying to find different things, right? Yeah, exactly. It it does allow us to see if we see any issues, concerns, anything we have with the machine. And it also, if you're not familiar with all the technical terms on the machine, um, it does definitely help guide a lot quicker to uh, to what you are talking about there. Well, very good, Josh. We appreciate your time today. Um, at the end of the day, I can you know I'm going to speak for Josh here, but his goal is to really. When you guys have trouble, call in and get you operating as fast as possible. That's the point of these Facebook Live uh, little tips of the week and demonstrations we're doing. I mean, at the end of the day, if Josh can cut five minutes off the time you have to wait from I have a problem to I'm running again, that's a good thing. And, and some of these little tips and tricks really do streamline that process and it allows you and him together to jump into the real technical part of troubleshooting a lot quicker. So we appreciate your time. If you have any questions or comments, please add them to the comment section below. Also, if there's a topic you would like us to cover, please put that in the comments also. Thank you and have a great afternoon.